Here is my pistol trigger challenge. The point of this drill for me is to build some fundamentals or rebuild them or refresh them. I haven't used this gun as much as my Shadow 2 and the trigger is definitely different. It's not a match grade trigger, it's more of a combat trigger. So I really noticed that I flinch when I'm tired using this gun. So that's why I'm doing it, but I would imagine a lot of people would grab, get some benefit out of this. So that's why I'm sharing this. All right, let's get in a little closer. As you can see, uh, there's a lot of holes in that target. There is 50. 40 rounds from 10 yards and 10 rounds from 7 yards. The 10 yard rounds from 7 yards was strong hand only. The other was at 10 yards, and it was using two-handed grip. And I was getting tired at the end, and one, two, three, four... Let's say four non-Xs. Actually, I ran this because I was shooting a simulated duty match. 90 round match. Uh, it's, a, it's a shortened match. Anyway, and I had one, two, three, four in the seven rings. Yeah, I did measure that one. It would have been a seven ring. Anyhow, that was at 25 meters, mind you. So I'm not that offended, but... My trigger was pretty sloppy so to tighten it up well we went for this now i'm going to do 10 more rounds and i'm going to do it left hand and my left hand is not as good as my right hand so back at target after 10 rounds shooting my left hand supported using two hands but pulling the trigger with the left i had one horrible trigger press but i was lucky it just dropped a little bit uh, and then i had two more here and then seven went through the jagged mess. So that is my challenge for you guys. I guess I got a 50 out of 50. Actually, I can't even remember how many shots I threw at this thing. Uh, 40. Anyway, I did not drop a point, but I lost one, two, three, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I got six uh, non-Xs. All right, so there's the gun that we shot the challenge with, uh, SIG 226. I actually bought a caliber conversion kit and just slid a new upper on there with a brand new fresh barrel. It works really well. There's a couple mags that are a little finicky with, and I have those marked off, so those are just range mags. Uh, the nice thing about that is it comes with the raised uh, front sight and rear sight, so... You can use your sights in case your red dot goes down. And the red dot, well, you know, I mean, it takes a little getting used to and some time to acquire. So having your sights is a wonderful tool for finding it because if you can line up your front sights, you're going to be able to find your dot.